Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening, Abner, Jose, Neftali. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, everybody else. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good. Hi, fans. Thank you. Excellent. How was your day? Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Nancy, right? Yes, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And okay. you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. All right. Okay. So it's eight o'clock. So we are going to start right now. So officially, good evening, everybody. I am teacher Juan Jose. So you can call me teacher. Or you can simply call me JJ. That's okay. All right. So, you know, it's going to be easier and shorter if you call me like this, JJ. All right. So, um, I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. Me da mucho gusto estar con ustedes acá para poder empezar un nuevo módulo y así pues poder ayudarles a seguir avanzando en su proceso de aprender inglés. Uh, let's start right now. So, me gustaría, pues, eh, escuchar un poquito acerca de ustedes. Like, to see you, right? To meet you. So, I will just go ahead and say hi to everybody. And just introduce yourself. Remember, my name is Fulanito. Hi. In any message, all right? Vamos a ver. Any volunteer to start? ¿Algún voluntario para empezar a presentarse? My teacher. All Hi. right. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, my name is Abner Molina. Uh, I, I have Mary. All right. Uh, I... Uh, no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Tengo 18... Tengo... 33 años. I am, 33. I am 33. I am 33. Excellent. And that's it. That's <laughs> it. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you. Next. 
Ok, por aquí tengo una manita levantada. Vamos a ver. Go ahead. Who is it? Who is it? All right. Anybody else? Next, next, next. Good evening. My name is Ana Elizabeth Melendez. I am married. I have two sons. Okay. I am I am 39 years old. 39 years old. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Anna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Excellent. All right. Uh, Carla, Milena. All right. Uh, good evening, everybody. Hi, my name is Carla Milena Lopez. Uh, I am 26 years old. I live in Santa Ana. And um, that's all. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Beautiful Santa Ana. It's a nice city. All right. Next. Next, next, next. All right, no problem. All right, Nancy, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Hello, good evening. And my name is Nancy Catanchor. I'm 37 years old. I live in Zacatecoluca, Department La Paz. All right, thank you. Nice to meet you and welcome. All right, Jose Francisco, go ahead. Hello, good evening. Uh, my name is Jose Francisco. Uh, how uh, 33 years in Grupo Bimbo. Oh. Uh, I am from Ilopango. All right, excellent. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right, anybody else? Go ahead, please. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, Sorry, teacher. I am uh, I am Meraibi Neftali. I I 20, 24 years old. All right. That's okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. Let's see, uh, Maria. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name is Maria Epifania Castro. I live in Ilopango and I work in Santa Tecla. Oh my That's God, so you travel from Ilopango to Santa Tecla. Yeah. It's long distance. The, All right. Nice to, Thank okay. you. Nice to meet you too. All right. Nice yeah. to meet you too. Thank you. Next. Okay, so let's see. Vamos a ver quién está aquí. Erlene, go ahead. Okay, uh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. My, my name is Erlene Castro. I live in Lourdes. Uh, I work at Laboratory Solaris. All right. I'm 32 years old. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> that's it. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. All right. Next. Vamos a ver si están despiertos. Vamos a seleccionar al siguiente y le va a ser el último que escriba hi en el chat. A ver. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. ¿Quién es el último? Uh -huh. Let's see who's the last one who writes chat. I mean, hi in the chat. Let's see here. Uh -huh. Let's see, let's see. Oh, someone said G. <laughs> All right. Irma, go ahead, please. Good evening. Uh, my name is Irma Martinez. I live in San Salvador. I work for Santa Tecla. Okay, thank you. What about you, Raúl, Mauricio? 
Hello. Good evening. My name is Raul Mauricio Ramirez. I am from uh, Santa Ana. I work uh, vivo de El Salvador. All right. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. All right. Veamos. Ana Luisa. Hello. Uh, my name is uh, Ana Luisa. Mm -hmm. I live in San Salvador. I work in, in uh, construction. Uh, I am 37 years old. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Good job. Nice to meet All right. you. Who's missing? ¿Quién falta? Who's missing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name is Marta Marisol. I live in Zaragoza. I work in Santa Tecla. All right. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Anybody else? Maybe I'll argue because I'm David. David Mungia. Hi. Good. Hello, David. Good evening. My name is David Mungia. Mm -hmm. Is live in Soyapango. All right. Uh, I do all forty five. Okay. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> that was okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All Good right. Finish. Excellent. So thank you. I can come back a falta. Vamos a ver. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Sandra. Hello. Ah, ahorita de camino aún, perdón. Este, no I am, I am Jamilet Jurado. I working in Grupo Bimbo. I live in San Salvador. Mm, pero estoy en San Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I am in San Miguel. I am in San Miguel. Very hot. All right. Thank you. Anybody else? No. Se me escapa alguien. Bueno, si no, nos podemos eh, presentar después. So thank you everybody for participating. Very good job introducing yourself. Un buen trabajo presentándose a ustedes mismos. Eh, well, let's just start talking here. Eh, empecemos hablando de un par de generalidades. Y entramos en el tema de este día. ¿Verdad? Me confirman si pueden ver la pantalla. Can you see the screen? Yes. 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 So we are going to uh, review some general things about the program. Un par de generalidades acerca del programa. Ustedes ya están en el módulo 3. Entonces quizás son cosas que ya sepan, pero vale la pena recordar. To remember those things here. All right. So um, let's just continue with this one. Let's see. Let's talk about this one. Ahorita un poquito de español para poder dejar esto claro que son las generalidades. Eh, pregunta general para todos. ¿Ya estamos familiarizados con el proceso de las tareas y las evaluaciones? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Great. Excellent. Yes. You need to remember it, it is necessary to have the 80% in average of homework and evaluations. ¿Verdad? El 80% de promedio de las tareas y evaluaciones para poder eh, aprobar el curso de manera satisfactoria. ¿Dónde se encuentran las tareas? ¿Quién me dice? Uh -huh. En medio de la plataforma. En la plataforma. Justo después de cada clase usted puede accesar y eh, puede realizar su tarea. Recuerde, es parte importante de su nota al final. Eh, las, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes, eh, ¿verdad? como dice acá, de, el, de cada martes. La a esa fuerza semanalmente, ¿verdad? Así que de estar pendiente de sus tareas. Luego eh, tenemos dos fechas muy importantes que tenemos que recordar acá, que es el del midterm y el del final exam, ¿verdad? El primero será el 2 de mayo y el final test es el martes 16 de mayo. Así que pendientes ahí con esas dos fechas para que podamos eh, apartar esas fechas y que no vayamos a tener ningún inconveniente eh, con alguna inasistencia o algo por el estilo. Eh, y recuerden que toda la información o lo que vamos a ocupar, el manual, está disponible en la plataforma. Usted lo puede eh, descargar sin ningún problema, acceder a él y que no se utilice ningún otro material que no sea 
el nuestro, ¿verdad? ¿Preguntas hasta el momento? No, excelente. Eh, bien, eh, reglas generales, ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Nombre completo de conectarse, muchos ya lo tienen ahí. Eh, en el caso de oyentes, como también por ahí de una persona que una palabra oyente, pues tal cual. La cámara encendida durante toda la sesión, le, ¿verdad? Es lo solicitado, así que quienes puedan hacerlo, porque por ahí hay personas que todavía van de camino, pero eh, al incorporarse, pues, en la medida de lo posible, poder tener la cámara encendida la mayor parte del tiempo. Y obviamente la participación activa, ¿verdad? So, eh, sí les voy a pedir eso mucho de la participación activa y también debes tener en cuenta que estoy aquí para ayudarte y parte de esa ayuda que yo te voy a dar es eh, el que yo te exija de alguna manera cierta pronunciación de palabras que vamos a ir viendo, que cambiemos el sonido de cómo pronunciamos las cosas, por ejemplo, veamos, si yo me voy al chat y pongo acá la palabra que acabo de enviar ahí, ¿cómo la pronunciarían ustedes? Name. Name. ¿Cómo diría esta frase? Name. Name. My name. My name is Peter. Ah, ok. That is an example. Eso puede ser un example de cómo podríamos empezar a trabajar cositas básicas con la pronunciation. Por ejemplo, tú tienes que ver acá la cámara, me voy a sacar un poquito para que ustedes puedan ver cómo se pronuncia la M. My name is Peter. Repitamos. My, My name, name is Peter. Peter. So, for example, si tú no articulas de manera correcta, no vas a pronunciar la M. Así, name. Mira, hay contacto en los labios. Lo contrario, vas a decir esto. Name. My name is. Entonces, esa es la diferencia entre pronunciar una my M name y una M. Is. Al decir, my name is. My, my, name, name, is. my name is. My name is. My name is. There we go. Eso ya nos va a dar sonido. Eso es como un pequeño ejemplo de lo que te puedo yo ir exigiendo o eh, pidiendo para que tú puedas ir mejorando en cuestión de pronunciación. All right. Así que, thank you, thank you for participating on that one. Seguimos acá. Muy bien. Eh, general, en todos los requerimientos acá, algo muy, muy, muy importante es la asistencia. ¿Verdad? Eh, la asistencia, ¿cuánto por ciento? Al... 80 por ciento. El 80. Mm. 80%. Ya van queriendo bajarme del 100 al 80. All right, so let's continue here, right? Debería ser lo ideal el 100% de las clases, ¿verdad? Para poder eh, garantizarles una efectividad en el aprendizaje. Cumplir con los 120 minutos de la clase eh, que genera, perdón, genera asistencia efectiva por cada sesión, es decir, se conectamos de las 8 y terminamos hasta las 10, ¿verdad? No que nos conectamos por partes, etcétera, etcétera. Recuerden que las sesiones se toman dos ocasiones, eh, mínimo alrededor de las 8.20 y a las 9.40 para ver si nadie se me ha escapado, ¿verdad? Eh, luego se tomará como válida al escuchar a la participante, es decir, presente y tener la cámara encendida, ¿ok? Así que luego que terminemos esto, vamos a pasar la asistencia a ver quiénes están ya completos en la sesión. Eh, habrá sesiones de one on one disponibles cada participante será asignado a 10 minutos a finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador eh, de manera ocasional o si usted lo solicita también ¿verdad? se me dice en un momento mire necesito hablar con usted para esto y con mucho gusto lo hacemos we can actually have a conversation about that y miren acá súper importante como dice aquí la última parte ¿eh? permisos no disponibles porque como dijimos no era 80 no que 100 ¿verdad? Great. Excellent. Preguntas? Uh -huh. No. We continue with general things. Entonces estamos ahí con el um, botón silencio mute. Bingo live speak. O para evitar cualquier sonido que ustedes puedan tener ahí alrededor. La cámara encendida. El chat siempre activo. Los breakout rooms cuando se les envía a practicar. Right. So eh, you can eh, actually do the ask for help button. Y el respeto ante todo de parte de todos. All right. So, questions at the moment? No questions? All right. So, let's continue here. Y nos quedamos entonces con esta información. Me dicen, ahí está. Si cambió la pantalla. Yes. 
Great. So, la duración de las dos semanas, semana 1 o sección 1 del 19 al 25, del 26 al 2 de mayo la segunda, donde va el test. Tercera semana del 3 al 9 de mayo y la última del 10 al 17 o al 16, mejor dicho, que es donde está el term, el final test ya eh, calendarizado, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a stop right here. And I'm going to check attendance now. Así que, please, say present. Ok. So, let's see. One quick second here. All right. My God. All right. No problem. So let's just start with this one. Okay, let me see here. All right, guys, we can continue here. All right. There you go. Let me know if you can see the new screen. Can you see the new screen? La nueva pantalla, ¿la pueden ver? Yes. 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 Hi. Excellent. So we yes, are okay. going to continue on this one right now here. All right. So to the beginning of this. Veamos. So we're trying to open the attendance list, but it's giving me a hard time. ¿Cómo se dice? Si ustedes saben cómo se dice, me está costando. Mm -hmm. Any idea? You can say it is giving a hard time. It is giving me a hard time. That's how you say it. Amos. Amos with Amos. Here it is. Check the attendance. Please say present. Apner, Adoni, Molina, Hernandez. I hear. Thank you. Alexa, Marcela, Cibrian. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Elizabeth Melendez de Aquino. Present. Thank you. Ana Luisa Espinosa Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Andre Pardo Camacho. Mm. Okay. David Inocente Munguía. I hear teacher. Thank you. Eh, Neftalí Medina Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Erling Castro Cortés. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Irma Noemí de Jesús. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Jose Daniel Castro. Jose Daniel Castro Lopez. No. All right. Let's see this one. Jose Daniel Castro Lopez, not here. All right. Hey, Jose Francisco Beltran. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Uh, yes. Es, primer apellido es Ordóñez Beltrán. Mm. Así le aparece Beltrán. Yes, excuse me. Ah, yes. Así dejémoslo entonces. Gracias. Beltrán, es, es al revés. Sí, es Ordóñez Beltrán. But we will change it, don't worry. Ok, gracias. All right. Carla Milena López. Present teacher. Thank you. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Humberto González. No. All right. There you go. Maria Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Marta Marisol Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. All right. 
Nancy, Katia, María. Okay. I'm here. Ah, okay, very good. Eh, Oscar Giovanni Menjivar. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Raúl Mauricio Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Emilia Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Sonia Maribel Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. William Giovanni Laínez. Present. Thank you. So we're missing only three people. Four. One, two, three, four. All right. Excellent. So, well, let's start right now with the topic for today, which is the first topic for the classes that we have today right here. So let's just review what the agenda is going to be. Remember today, because it's the first class, recuerden que hoy por ser la first class, um, you know, tenemos la introducción y esas generalidades, pero ya a partir de tomorrow, tomorrow vamos de entrada con el tema, all right? So let's continue with this part here. All right, so what is going to be today's agenda? All right, so first of all, we are going to start with the warm up, right? And then we're going to talk about missions and visions, all right? So about us companies, right? We will have a role play, tenemos un role play, all right? And we're going to review the grammar, which is the use of infinitives, right? And then to provide missions and visions. So tenemos una agenda bastante corta, pero eh, with a lot of information for today. All right, so let's continue with the topic here. Let's see what we have right here. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you know what is a mission and what is a vision? Do you know that? Sabemos que es una misión y una visión. Have you heard about that? ¿Han escuchado de eso? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, very good. All right. So, and uh, do you know, for example, the mission or the vision in your company? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. That's actually good. Let's see what we have right here. And it goes for this one. We are going to read this short definition to understand what is a mission or a vision, right? So, please, let's say this one. It says, what you are there to do. Repeat it. What you are there to do. What, what you are, you there, are there, to there, to there, to there to do. All right. For example, in the chat, le voy a escribir cómo se va pronunciando. First of all, entendamos que la W suena como U. All right. So sería what. What, what you are there to do. All right, so, for example, vamos a ver aquí alguien que esté en estas. Veamos, eh, Erlin, ¿cómo le dirías eh, eso que acabo de enviar ahí? Como solo la pronunciation. Uh -huh. Okay, it's uh, what, what is you are there to do? What you are there to do? What you are. There to exactly. do. En el chat aparece así como la like, cómo se debería pronunciar, right? Solamente hay que leer tal cual así. Veamos, alguien más que me quiere ayudar, Nancy. ¿Cómo es la pronunciación? What you are there to do. Very good, super good. Es easier, más más fácil cuando se ve cómo se pronuncia ese sonido, right? So very good. ¿Para qué están ustedes? Ahí es la, razón, la misión de la compañía. Es decir, ¿por qué están haciendo lo que están haciendo en cuanto a las compañías? You know, like companies, they have missions and visions. Eh, and that's the reason why they are doing what they are doing. All right. So es lo que, eh, la razón por la cual se esfuerza la empresa por eh, hacer las cosas every single day, cada día. All right. What about the vision? The vision, the vision, the vision. All right. So the vision says where you aspire to be once you have achieved your mission. Vamos a ver con la pronunciación ahí. Where you where aspire, aspire to be once. Ese sería you have y contractado es como you've, like that, all right? 
you achieve achieved your mission. All right. Más o menos así. Veamos. To be like where you aspire to be once you've achieved your mission. All right. So that's how I, uh, you pronounce it, right? So veamos. ¿Quién me va a ayudar ahora con este? Raúl. A ver. Let's practice the pronunciation. Así como lo acabo de mandar ahí para ayudarte. Okay. Where you aspire to be once you achieve achieve your mission. 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 Very good job. Excellent. Right. So it's easier here. Right. It's much more fácil when you um you know see the pronunciation de esta forma más cerca posible a nuestro idioma. Right. All right. Entonces la misión se se trata acerca de el futuro, es decir, lo que la compañía pretende ser en el futuro, all right? Una vez se complete la misión. Eso es just like for you to have a general idea de que es una misión y es una vision, all right? Excellent. So, then, um, let's say this one. Le vamos a dar an example here de what is a vision and a mission with this company, Inglés Corporativo. All right, let me show you this right now. So Inglés Corporativo has a mission and a vision, como todas las companies, it's every company, and our mission and vision is this one. So for example, our mission is here. Uh, let's see here. Our mission is to provide. Repeat everybody, provide. Provide. Exactly. What is provide? Uh -huh. Or a student. Proporcionar. Oh, okay. That's what it means. Provide, proporcionar. Uh -huh. So our mission is to provide our students with the necessary tools. What is tools? Herramientas. A través. Great job. A través. Job. Mediante. Uh -huh. Through training. A través, muy bien, thank you. In order to increase, what is increase? <laughs> Aspirar o incrementar. Incrementar. Yes, incrementar, that's a good translation, very good. Um, oops, we escribimos mal ahí, increase, sorry. Then, uh, opportunities for growth. All right, what is growth? Crecer. Mm, yes, Crecer. yes, similar, similar. Uh -huh. Crecimiento. Yeah, that's the correct <laughs> translation for that one. All right. So there you go on this one, like that. All right. And development. What is development? Desarrollo. Yes, that is correct. All right. Desarrollo. Very good our academic aspirations. All right, excellent. So uh, then I have a question for you. Uh, what is this one? Si ustedes se fijan, ahí hay una palabra como highlighted in yellow, right? So, which is to provide. Es porque las misiones siempre comienzan con un verb, all right? Un verbo. En este caso, el verbo, what is it? Exactly, all right? And this is part of the topic that we have today, right? So um, just to give you a quick example right here, all right? Ustedes en la primera frase donde dice, our mission is to provide, pueden identificar un sujeto en la oración? Or, 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 or student. All right, excellent. So, ¿qué se les parece si les digo que why there is no subject? Mm -hmm. Entonces, como, so, what happens right here? Don't worry, don't worry. Vamos a ver la vision y después explicamos por qué el objeto y de dónde viene ese tú. All right, so let's see. What about the vision right here? So, it says here that we have a vision also. All right, so remember la visión, ¿qué era la misión? No que se traducía, sino que ¿qué era una misión? Remember that? Uh -huh. ¿A dónde se quiere llegar? 
All right. The mission and vision it was, remember, mission is what you are there to do, lo que se hace, right? And the mission, uh, sorry, the vision is for the future. A donde se quiere llegar, all right? Very good. So, let's see. Tenemos la mission, vamos a ver la vision de inglés corporativo. Oh, as you can see there, there is also another verb. What is the verb in the vision? Become, become to become, become. exactly right. And what is become? Convertirse. Convertirse. Muy bien. Excellent. All right. The leading provider. All right. What is provider? Proveer. Mm, yes. Another synonym. Proveedor. There you go. Ahí estamos. All right. So. In human development. A ver, ¿qué era development? Let's see, you remember? Desarrollar. Desarrollo. Very good. Desarrollo in El Salvador. All right, very good. So we have a mission and the vision here. All right, so esos son examples de visiones. So this is like what we are doing right here. Lo que estamos haciendo, for example, nosotros como company here, it's, you know, proporcionar las herramientas necesarias a ustedes y nuestra visión in the future, it's to be uh, the leading provider, o sea, proveedor de talento humano número uno, right? So just to give you an example, de una mission y una vision, real vision, real mission, all right? Preguntas hasta el momento? Questions, questions? No questions? Pronunciation, vocabulary? No? To become? Is correct. <laughs> become correct. So that will be become. like um, like this one. Do you see it? Yes. Become correct. Don't forget that it has an M. All right. All right. So then we continue with this part right here. Now, so we will just continue with this section here, and we will have our role play. All right. So. And in the role play right here, what are we going to do? All right, guys, uh, we can see it here. All right, lo podemos ver aquí. Can you see that here? Yeah. Great, yes, excellent. Yes, so we are going to actually have a role play. Y aquí es donde va a ser nuestra primera activity de ahorita para practice, all right? So we're going to have some time to practice and um, review the pronunciation. So ustedes van a hacer Diana y Celia, all right? So you are going to uh, pronounce these words right here. Jose Francisco, you have a question, right? Teacher, por aquí está lloviendo bien, recibe a penita, lo escucho. Voy a ver si me pongo los audífonos, a ver si los encuentro. All right. All right, all right. So then uh, you go on this one right here. Vamos a ver, primero voy a leerlo yo para ayudarles con la pronunciation, all right? Si alguien tiene ahí este, um, questions about the pronunciation, please let me know so I can help you with that, all right? So veamos, this is here. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? All right, so veamos, it will be like, did you hear about the visit of the manager today, like this one. So you see, Briggs continue working on how to pronounce it, all right? Remember, eso que yo les escribo es como like, como sonaría lo más eh, cercano posible, right? So it's like, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? Que me ayuda a ver como se pronuncia eso, a ver? I did you. Go ahead, please. Do you hear about the visit of the manager today? There you go. Excellent. So, un tip ahí, right? So, tenemos la palabra of, que significa apagado o apagar, y tenemos la palabra of, que significa de. All right. So, la pronunciación de of, de apagar, es con F, of. All right. Y la, la pronunciación que ustedes tienen ahí ahorita en el role play, que solo es una F, all right, is of, como que fuera una B, of. There we go, exactly. All right, thank you, good job. 
So let's see. Next one. I did. I did. We. All right. Should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check in to check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. Super important, right? Como se lee en los años, se pueden dividir. En este caso sería 2020, right? So, si yo te preguntara en qué año estamos, ¿cómo me dirías este año? 2023. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 23. 23. 23, sorry. Se me atrasó dos años. All right, so. Um, there you go. And the, lo último, the last one. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Now, do you have questions about the pronunciation? Yes or no? No questions. Okay, no problem. Entonces es hora de los breakup rooms. Right. Teacher, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, business. 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 Yes. Okay. Business, business. So I'm already here. Business. Sounds like business. Let's see. My dad. Business. All right. Yes, Luis Humberto. Excuse me, it was an error. No problem. All right. So let's just continue here. All right. Do you have questions about that? Oh, Carla. Yes. Um, uh, Carla, I cannot hear you very well. What's the question? En el párrafo de Celia, donde dice, okay, your mission is to make your... Our no sé guest. si se dice guest. Yes. So guest. Remember, remember eh, Carla, that the word or hour, it's just like this one. Hour. 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 Hour guest. Hour como hour. Ok. Hour this. Y le dice hour, guest. Hour. Así sí, tal cual. Guest. All right. Any okay, other question? Uh -huh. Just don't know. Yes. Well, entonces vamos a los breakout rooms right now. Entonces, que trabajemos en couples, right? Y que podamos practicar uno siendo Diana o Diana, la otra Silvia. All right. So veamos here. Create one breakout rooms. All right. Let's see this one. How many are we? Let's see, 23. So we can have 12 breakout rooms. No, 11. There you go. So go ahead and join the breakout rooms, people. All right. Ya sabemos todo como funciona el breakout room. Yes? Great. Excellent. Let's go. So it's going to be, all right, awesome. Join the breakup rooms, guys, please. Oscar Humberto. 
no puede participar. All right, no problem, Oscar. Pero está ahí en the conversation. Está en, está en clase ahorita, please. No problem. Vamos a move here. No problem, Oscar. That's okay. Entonces, vamos a ver. José Francisco. Al room one. Ok, quiero ver que nadie me ha quedado solo. De los que están aquí todavía, alguien. David, all right. Vamos a ver aquí, a room 11. Very good. Me ha quedado solo alguien. Vamos a mandar a Ana. Con este chico. Great. So. Piense que bring no? us the dialogue, please. I'm sorry. Could you share the dialogue, please? Of course, of course, of course. Good, good, good. We didn't take a screenshot. All right. Do you see it? Thank you. You're foto, welcome. Foto, foto, voy, voy, voy. No problem. Yeah. Excellent. Thank so you. Practice. If you have questions or need my help again, just call me, all right? I'll be here. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hello, Luis. Ya tenemos la foto entonces. Sí, sí, ya. Démosle eh, pues. Ok. Preference Beach. Hotel Be Families B2020. That's right. Our visions del tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay. Okay. Good you job. Can go to the computer. The, so, tell me, tell me. What are the dudas? Ah, okay. Thank you. Eh, la pronunciación de futuro. <laughs> future. 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 Be future. Te la voy a poner la más parecido here. So it will be like future. Future. Algo así más o menos. Future. Future. Oh, future. Okay, Right. Lo, lo que te hace la parte del or, or al final es la R en inglés que se pronuncia como or, right? So future. Future. Okay. Exactly, future. like that. Very good. Okay, okay. thank you. Right. También, este, Nancy, te oí por ahí la pronunciación de esta palabra. Sí. Mm -hmm. Take, Take, which is this one. Más o menos así. Take. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct, correct. Take. All right, Take. excellent. So, eh, yes, all right. Preguntas, alguna otra? Eh, tengo una teacher, eh, cuando dice, I did will soul, así sería, I will, I did will soul be ready. Ah, all right. So, answer. first of all, ahí donde dice, I did, tenemos que hacer una pequeña pausa porque hay un signo de admiración como, I did. Admiración. I did. I did. I did. I did. We saw. We should. We should. Mm -hmm. We should. We should. We should. Be ready. Ajá. Ese should, digamos que no estamos pronunciando la L. No L. We should. Sería. We should. And continue with the conversation there. Okay. All right. Y la palabra preference. 
de, ¿Lleva como un sonido de T al final por la D? No. Preferred. 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 Como de D. Como una D. Preferred. The most preferred beach hotel. Okay. No more questions? No more questions. No problem. Sigamos practicando. Thank Les recomiendo you. cambiar el rol. Si tú eras Celia, ahora ya. Ya lo cambiamos, sí. Like that. Very good. One more sí. time then. Thank you. Thank you. Who's here? Okay. Okay. Vamos a ver. Empieza entonces yo ahora. Sí. Continuous. Y después bye va. En vez de vi es bye. Okay. Hello. Estamos con el Y después sí. sigo yo y digo that's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay. Repeat. Okay, ahora, right. voy, voy yo otra vez con Diane. Uh, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? Good job. I did we I, I did we show the ready to answer question about the mission in the vision of the company. Yes. La pronunciación de eh, our es our. Our. Como our. 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 Okay. our. Y acá donde dice Celia, and our vision is to be found. Sería our us. vision. Our vision. Our vision. Our vision. Okay. Remember que lo que te da la pronunciation ahí sería la última R, que sería como pronunciada como en inglés, de R, right? So, our vision. There you go. Muy bien. Uh, this, the most preferred. 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 Correct. There you go. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. All right. Sigamos practicando. Keep practicing porque vamos a, a cerrar los rooms para que escojamos un par de voluntarios ahí. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Comience, Irma. Okay. Did you hear? A... Our mission is why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our mission is where our business wants to get in the future. Okay, ya no salió mejor esta vez. Sí. Excellent. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hello. Uh, welcome. <laughs> All right, thank you. Questions? Uh, uh, no. Uh, listen, we're, listen. We are ready. Okay, go ahead. I will pay attention. Okay. okay. I am Diana. All right. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer a question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to, is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay. Okay. Very good. Super good. Super good. I like it. I like it. Right. We are ready. So, yeah. like, nation. <laughs> Como que por aquí está el grupo de volunteers que va a pasar primero. All right. Yes. <laughs> All right. Excelente. Excelente. Pasen una, un par de veces más mientras re, reviso los siguientes grupos. All right. Vaya. Thank Thanks. you. Okay. Good job. Good job. Thank you, teacher. Thanks. Hello. Hello. Oh. 
Hello, teacher. Como van? How are you doing? Hello. I I just want to know how to pronounce um prefer preferred. We need to mention the ID. The ID preferred. Pref preferred. Uh, preferred. 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 Correct with the D, of course. And uh, and the other one, eh. family, families, 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 families. So families. you don't you don't pronounce like families. That's not right. So you say like almost like a hey, families, family, 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 family. family. Very good. Excellent. Keep practicing. Si vamos a practicar, en un momento vamos a cerrar los grupos, all right? Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Families. 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 Hello, hello. Hello. You finished? Hello, teacher. I finished. You finished practicing? Terminaron para practicar? Yes. Sí, estuvimos practicando, pero a algunas compañeras se les va la señal, teacher. Mm -hmm. Como está lloviendo. Right. That's true, that's true. Bueno, ya sí, vamos a entonces... empezar. Ahorita vamos entonces a regresar a la general para escoger un par de voluntarios, ¿ok? Bye, está bien. Thank you. Okay, teacher. This, is this one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Let's wait for the rest. Ah, hello, 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 hello. Hello, teacher. All right, all right. Very good. So we are going to continue. Vamos a continuar with the next activity. Tenemos que ver ahí que nos ayuda a leer. So who actually help us to read um, the role play. All right, all right. So veamos. Just to see if you are awake on this one. Veamos. Um, that will be la última persona que me escribe en el chat como se dice morado color morado in English so let's see muy bien, muy bien very good, very good excellent, 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 excellent Yee, let's see, let's see. Luis Humberto, Maria, ahorita la última, she's last one. Let's see, anybody else? Okay, but I have a question. Alexa, you wanna be a volunteer? Yes. Okay, Alexa, entonces vamos a trabajar, vamos a cambiar de pareja. Alexa and Maria. <laughs> Okay. Excellent. Ready, girls? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. So please go ahead. Uh, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. 
Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by, by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. All right. Excellent. So an applause for them, people. Very good. Very good. All right. That was actually super, super nice. All right. You did good, 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 good. Thank you, girls. Very good. Very Thank good. You. All right. So another volunteer. Okay. Apner, Apner, Apner. Do we have another volunteer to participate with Apner? Who is it? Okay, excellent. So, en orden, iría Abner con Ana ahorita y Sandra se queda para la next uh, participation. All right? There we go. So, iría Abner and era Ana, right? No. Yes. Yes. All right. Go ahead. Yes. Entonces, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Go ahead. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the vision and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests sit at the home from checking to check out. Right. Our vision describes why our business exists. Um, our, vis our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where, where our business was to get in the future. All right, excellent. So very good job, good job, good job, good job. So you did it wonderfully. That was nice, 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 nice as well. Okay, excellent. So very good job. Thank you for applying the corrections. Muy buen trabajo eso para aplicar las correcciones. Good, excellent. Next volunteer. No volunteer. Veamos por ahí de alguien. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Very good. Who is going to participate with Nancy? Raul. Okay, very good. Okay, okay, very good. So you two guys. Okay, I am Diana. Yeah, okay. okay. Did, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did with shower be read to answer question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. <laughs> Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exits. And our mission is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. All right, excellent, super good job. I like it, I like it, thank you. And thank you for applying the corrections. Let's apply the corrections ahí, right? Good, good job. Eh, vamos con el último, last one, last one. Anybody else to be the last one? Erlene, all right, and Ana Luisa, very good, thank you. Okay. Means you still. Okay. Uh, did you hear uh, about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer a question about the mission and the vision of the company. Okay, let's read three. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check out. Right, our vision describe uh, why our 
business as exit. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. Right. That's right. Our vision there where our business one want to get in the future. Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much. You were doing an amazing job as well. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations to everybody who participated. Very well done. So you guys did it good. Muy buen trabajo. Hicieron bastante bien. All right. So super important here. Ahora que you finish practicing this one, let's pay attention to something here. All right. Uh, as you know, we're talking about missions and visions, right? So, and we have there two verbs. All right. So, ¿cuáles son los dos verbos que aparecen ahí que son importantes? Mm -hmm. To make, to make, make, to, make to make and to become. become. All right. So, and as you can see here, te pregunto nuevamente. Let me ask you this again. Do you see a subject in that sentence? Hay un sujeto en esa oración? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. It's mission and vision. So, what do you think? The mission company. The company. All right. What else? What else? Go. No idea? Don't worry. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Vamos a ver. Votemos, votemos. All right. So, let's see this one right here. All right. Let's see here. Quickly, ahorita. Vamos a hacer una pequeña poll. You know what is a poll? You know what is a poll? No. No. Es una encuesta. Very good, very good. So let's see this one right here. Is there a subject? Yes. Or no. All right, all right. There you go. Okay, some people. Va, veamos. Ya le llegó la encuesta. Did you see the poll? Uh -huh. Ya contestamos ahí a alguien que dice no. Empatados. We are tied. All right. 50-50. People say yes. People say no. Oh my God, what's the correct answer? A lot of people are saying yes. Okay. Some people are saying no. Yes is winning by ganando el yes. All right. Falta, me falta. ¿En qué dicen los demás? Ajá, ajá. Yes, yes. 14 personas han respondido. All right, 10 segundos para completarla. Tararatatán, let's see, let's see. Anybody else? That's it. Ajá, me faltan, me faltan, me faltan. All right. There you go, there you go. Excellent. So, they say you can like 11 people. All right. It says right here. Do you see that? It says that the majority of the people say yes, there is a subject. And a few people say no. What the person is saying, you know? All right. So, we will see who was the correct or not. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver entonces. Lo que sigue a continuación. All right. Let's talk about this one. This is the grammar topic for today. The infinitives. Everybody repeat it with me. Infinitives. Repeat it. Infinitives. Very good. Excellent. So have you ever heard about an infinitive? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado acerca de un infinitive? Hmm? Yes or no? Yes? No. No, teacher. All right. 
no problem. Los infinitives tienen muchos usos, all right? Pero vamos a enfocarnos en el que saca. Normally, los infinitives o los más comunes, vamos a mencionar dos usos comunes de los infinitives tonight. All right, so, eh, el primero es cuando tengo dos, 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 a ver acá, dos, ahí está, dos eh, verbos en una misma oración. All right, so, normally with the verb like, for example, I like to eat pizza. All right, so, like the example you see there. This example, I like to eat pizza. ¿Cuántos verbos? How many verbs do I have there? ¿Cuántos verbos tenemos en esa oración? Two, two words. Two words. Two verbs, right? ¿Cuáles son los verbs? Two. Like, I like, like it. it. Muy bien. Entonces, cuando tengo esa situación, donde tengo dos verbos, dos, dos, dos verbos, en una misma oración, entonces yo voy a utilizar to antes del second verb. So I'm going to use to after the second verb. Y eso lo voy a poder utilizar ya sea in present, in past, or future. For example, vamos a ver, ¿alguien se sabe el pasado de like? Like it. Like, like it. it. Like it. Like to eat pizza. Y si te fijas, solo cambió el like. Es decir, eh, el to eat se mantiene aunque sea una oración en pasado. Why is this? Porque el infinitivo es la forma base del verbo. La forma sin conjugar. Entonces, in this case right here, la primera oración dice, me gusta comer pizza. La segunda oración, ¿qué dice? What is it in Spanish? Me gustó comer pizza. Me gustaba comer pizza. Me gustaba. Entonces, atención, el pasado está en el verbo gustar. Es decir, me gustaba. Pero el verbo comer se queda igual. Porque ese es el infinitivo. Es decir, la forma base sin conjugar del verbo. All right. So, ¿lo puedo usar en futuro? Of course you can use it in the future. All right. Ya, ya sabemos de futuro. Yes or no? Yes. ING. ING. So, mm, cruzamos will. Will going to. I'm going to. Very good. All right. I will. I will. Uh, like this one. Or I'm going to. You know, I will like to eat pizza. Me gustará comer pizza. I will like to eat pizza. All right. Me gustará comer pizza. All right. So, entonces, si fijan. ¿Qué es lo único que no ha cambiado en las tres oraciones? El connector. El verbo. El segundo sí. verbo, que es el infinitivo. De nuevo, ¿por qué no cambia? Porque el infinitivo es la forma. Pase. Base form. All right. So, exactly. Ahora, ese es uno de los usos más comunes. Vamos al uso que tiene que ver con este tema acá. All right. Which is just like to express purpose. Explicar un porqué. ¿Y por qué yo les preguntaba before I was asking you if there was a subject or not? Te preguntaba si había un sujeto o no. All right. So, entonces, tú me decías um, que sí. Y unos pocos dijeron que no. Some people say, a lot of people say yes. A few people said no. Ahora, eh, I want you to remember this one. All right. Alguna vez vieron un, un anuncio de cigarettes. Yes. ¿Cuál era el mensaje para concientizar a las personas que ponían los cigarettes? Fumar el camino para la salud. Ah, muy bien. All right. So, eh, and then, how do you say, entonces, fumar? How do you say fumar para empezar? Yes. Smoke. Smoke. All right. A smoke, yes or no? Yes. All right. Smoke. And how do you say dañino? Provecho, Ana. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, dangerous. I, me too. All right. So, how do you say dañino? ¿Alguien me dijo por ahí? Dangerous. Mm, ese es como peligroso. All right. So, dañino sería como harmful. All right. So, si yo quiero poner harmful, 
Dangerous es peligroso, of course. All right. So, sin synonym will be. Entonces, si yo quiero decir que fumar es dañino para la salud, ¿cómo escribo eso en inglés? How do you write that in English? Uh -huh. How do you write it? To smoke is... is, is A ver, ¿cómo lo escribirían? Escribémoslo en el chat, please send it in the chat. ¿Cómo escribirían en inglés? Fumar es dañino para la salud. Oh, perdón, solo fumar es dañino, sorry. Just fumar es dañino. ¿Cómo lo escribirían? En el chat, please. Okay, and the rest. Thank you, Ana. Mm -hmm. Por ahí alguien, ya vi el traductor detectado ahí. All right, so very good. <laughs> All right, the smoke is harmful. Very good. The smoke is harmful. The smoking is bad, dicen por ahí. El fumar es malo. All right, so great, 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 great. Excellent. So I want you to pay attention exactly to what you guys are um, typing there. Pongan atención a lo que están typeando. Me han escrito tres formas. All right. So vamos a hacer otra encuesta. Mm -hmm. So let's see this one. Seguimos enviando ahí los mensajes. All right. All right. Smoke is powerful. All right. Smoking is powerful. Okay, veamos. Smoke is powerful. Veamos aquí. Okay. Let's check this one. What do you think is going to be the correct option? De las tres que más me han escrito, me escribieron esas tres. So what do you think is actually the correct one? Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Where is the poll? Excuse me? Where is the poll? La encuesta, ¿dónde está? Eh, creo que nos aparece ahí como un mensaje cuando está disponible. Ah, sí, es que a mí no me aparece. Vamos a ver ahí, don't worry. All right, very good. Estamos. 15, 16. Very good. 16, 17. Back it. Veamos. ¿Qué dice el público? It says here that smoking is harmful and smoke is harmful. Oh my God. La respuesta incorrecta tiene muchas options selected ahí, all right? Para eso explico quickly, quickly, quickly. Para los que se fueron al traductor y pusieron eso ahí, le salió a toditos, smoking is harmful. Y eso está correct. Pero eso es con otro tema que se llama gerundio. Lo vamos a dejar para otra ocasión, donde el gerundio lleva el ing, all right? Pero en el significado, ahora que ustedes están utilizando el translator, Right. Si usted pone la primera opción en el translator, to smoke is harmful, ¿qué le saldría ahí? How would you translate that one? Uh -huh. Démosle vuelta la translation. ¿Qué, ¿Qué les aparece? Fumar es dañino. ¿Verdad? The same. All right. Entonces, what happens right here? Hay dos formas de decir ese tipo de situations, right? Eh, puede ser con el ING, que se llama gerundio, o el infinitivo, que es donde llevamos el tú. 
to smoke, for example. All right. So, so ¿cuántas respuestas correctas hay? Dos. The first one, to smoke is harmful and smoking is harmful. Vamos a quedarnos por el tema que estamos viendo con la primera. To smoke is harmful. All right. So, ahora bien, les pregunto yo, en esta expresión, to smoke is harmful, what is the subject? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Mm -hmm. Smoking. Smoking. Okay. Y smoking sería yo, tú, él, I, he, she, it. La salud. La salud. Sería harmful. Harmful. Harmful, harmful sería un adjetivo porque está describiendo cómo es. Right? Okay. All right. Excellent. No worry. Ya no te voy a confundir más. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. So it's going to be very easy here. So then you have to uh, pay attention to this one. No hay un eh, sujeto aquí porque. All right. Oops. My camera. Hello. Hello. Can you see me? Yes. All right. So. All right. So no hay un sujeto aquí porque no estamos hablando de alguien, sino que estamos hablando de una acción. All right. So. Y esa acción, pues no tiene un I, él, yo o ella. Simplemente estamos hablando de la acción. En el caso del ejemplo de la encuesta, Fumar, right? So, pero fumar no es él ni es ella, es una acción. Entonces, como no tenemos sujeto, ocupamos un infinitivo que es para referirse a una acción. All right? So, ¿cómo dirías entonces jugar fútbol es bueno? Uh -huh. On the chat, please. To play. Play soccer. Uh -huh. To play soccer. It's good. It's good. Very good. Play soccer. Ah, okay. Eh, Neftali. All right. ¿Qué le hace falta a Neftali? Ahí veamos. Two. El two. Very good. All right. Very good. Very good. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. All right. Don't worry. All right. So. That happens right there, all right? Entonces, let's pay attention to something. Ustedes han escuchado, have you ever heard or have you ever read, alguna vez han leído la, una misión o una visión de una empresa? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? All right. Yes. Yes. ¿Cómo, cómo empieza normalmente la visión o la misión de una empresa? Empieza verbos, right? So, verbs like ser, convertirse, eh, actualizar, mejorar, incrementar, proporcionar, you know, those verbs. In those cases, we don't have a subject. Entonces, esos casos no son sujetos, sino que estamos hablando, we're talking about actions, right? That's the reason why that's a um, missions and visions. They normally start with this one. So for example, all right, look at the example we have right here. It says to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. All right. So let's see if you can translate this one. How would you translate that from Spanish to English? Mm -hmm. This example here. Do you see the example? This one. Mm -hmm. How will you say that in Spanish? ¿Cómo dirías en español? Hello, hello. Brindar. Brindar. Mm -hmm. Brindar, dicen por ahí. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Thank you for trying. All right. All right. ¿Alguien sabe el significado del verbo bring? No. No, sure. No problem. Pero díganme, pues. All right. So, let's see. We go on this traer. one. Bring, it means traer o llevar. Traer. Traer o llevar inspiración y. ¿Cómo se dice? E innovación. Innovación. A cada atleta, ¿dónde? 
en del el mundo. mundo. Very good job. En el mundo. Muy bien. All right. So that's actually what happens right here. Super bien. ¿Con qué empieza esta oración? Uh -huh. Con un qué? Supreme. Eso se llama entonces un Supreme. verbo. Un verbo que se llama Infinitives. 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 Aquí está, mira. Los infinitives, right? ¿Cómo se caracteriza un infinitive? Porque llevan to. to. Porque lleva to, all right? Y porque el verbo se encuentra en. Ajá. En su forma base. Base form. In the base form. Exactly. All right. Just like the example you have right here. Let's check also the missions. All right. So it says right here to become. Repeat. To become. Repeat it. To become. To become. The most preferred to beach hotel by families oh. by 2020. Entonces, esta ya la dimos porque es del ejercicio anterior. ¿Cómo se traduce esta de acá? ¿Quiere mi Hello, hello. Mm, se nos olvidó, become, right? So, what was it? What was convertirse. it? Convertirse. Convertirse. Excelente. Convertirse en qué sería ahí? En el hotel más preferido. Muy bien. ¿El hotel de qué? De playa. El preferido de la familia en el 2020. Para el 2020. Para. Ajá, because this one right here es para el 2020. Obviamente a nosotros nos suena en pasado porque ya estamos 2023, right? Pero así se traduciría esta sentence, all right? Very good. De nuevo comenzamos con un infinitive, which is here, el to and then it'll become, all right? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Ahora, pregunta este momento acerca de este tema de infinitivos. No questions? No, no teacher. Ah, good. Si ustedes no tienen preguntas for me, I have questions for you. Uh -huh. Veamos. Let's do this one right here. Oops. There we go. All right. Vamos a like, analyze this stuff right here, all right? So, entonces, people, ladies and gentlemen, pueden ver la new screen? Yes. 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 Great, 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 great. Excellent. So, vamos a ver. So, entonces, here, on, on one side of the screen, tenemos unas visions or missions. Y en el otro lado del screen, tenemos las companies que son parte de las que son parte de esas missions ahí. All right, let's try to analyze. Veamos here. Who wants to help me reading the number one, the letter A? Alguien que me quiera ayudar? Yes. All right, who was it? Abner. Okay, yeah. Right. Go ahead. To be the most customer-centric company in the world, where people can feel and discover anything they want to buy online. No, All right, no. excellent. Super buen trabajo. Ahí. La palabra where, que es donde, no es where. Y la palabra find. All right. Que la, la pronunciación está ahí. Te la dejo en el chat para que la notes y lo corrijamos. All right. Okay. So, lo demás tú, Abner. Good job. All right. So, people, ya que estamos ahí con la slide de number one, to be the most customer centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. What company is that one? Amazon. 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 Why? Why, why, why? Why? Because it's a company to buy to online. Buy online. Online. That is correct. It says online and Amazon is the only one or the only company Esas cuatro, from those four, that it says online. Very good job. Excellent. Veamos. Ahí está Amazon. Very good. There you go. Excellent. Volunteer for the number two. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, Maria, right? Yes. 
Go ahead, Maria. Read, please. To, to be the, the global energy company most admired for its people, partnerships, partnerships on performance. All right, admire, admire. All right, so that's like más o menos como suena, right? Admire, repeat it, Maria. Admire. Excellent, there you go, very good. All right, so uh, what would be that one? To be the global energy company most admired for its people, partnership, and performance. What He's is the it? Chevron. 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 Chevron, right? Cuanto experto aquí ahorita, very good. Excellent, that's the one, all right? So we have one more option. What about letter C? What is it? Volunteer? Hi. Uh, that will be Anna? Yes. All right, Anna, uh, please go ahead. To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Oh, acabamos de leer esa, right? What is it? Nike. Nike, Nike. Nike or Nike? Nike, very good. Nike. Así como le dice la canción, vea, son ribugos son Nike, all right? So, it will be Nike. All right. Nike. Very good, Nike, Nike. All right, ahí está la palabra inspiration. Recuerden algo, la, la terminación que se escribe tion se pronuncia shen. Así. Por ejemplo, conversation, inspiration. All right, intonation, for example. Innovation, innovation. Innovation, exactly. No se pronuncia como chon, con una O, all right? Sino que se pronuncia como una e. Innovation. Okay. Very good, excellent. Super good. Entonces, what company is that one? Nike. 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 Uy. Bueno, well, the last one gets very obvious, right? So it's going to be uh, Starbucks. Who wants to help me with the Starbucks? Go ahead, Carla. There you go. One cup in what neighborhood? People, what is neighborhood? Uh -huh. Do you know the meaning of neighborhood? It died. Uh-huh. No. There you go. You check it. Ahí se la mandamos. El neighborhood es el vecindario. Entonces, ¿cómo se dirá vecino? Neighbor. Neighbor. Very good. El neighbor. Very good, very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good job, people. Questions about vocabulary eh, or um, pronunciation? No questions? Okay, excellent. Vamos a check the attendance one more time. Yes, 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 yes. Veamos, say present please, Abner Molina. Present teacher. Alexa Marcela Cibrián. Present teacher. Excellent. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present teacher. There you go. Excellent. Vamos a poner las cámaras here para ver quién está. All right. So, Ana Luisa Espinosa. Present teacher. Eh, Andre Pardo Camacho. No entró. All right. David Inocente Munguía. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Neftali Medina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Erlene Castro. Teacher, Erlene Castro, creo que mandó un mensaje al WhatsApp que estaba lloviendo fuerte en su casa. Oh, okay. Let me double check right here. Oh, yeah. The internet is so slow. That's true. Thank you, eh, Neftali. All right, so uh, what is it? What is it? Irma Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Daniel Castro. No, no problem. Jose Francisco Beltran, perdón. Present Jose teacher. Beltran, right? Present. There we go. Thank you. Carla Milena. 
Present. Kevin Eduardo. Present teacher. Maria Castro. Present teacher. teacher. Present. All right, thank you. Kevin Eduardo, present. Okay, thank you. Ah, Kevin Eduardo, aquí estamos. Maria, present. Marta present. Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. Ajá, late, late, late. <laughs> All right. Pero thank you for being here. Veamos. Eh, Nancy Katia. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Giovanni. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Raúl Mauricio. Present teacher. All right. Eh, Sandra Emilet. Present teacher. Sonia Maribel. Present teacher. William Giovanni. Present teacher. Thank you. Very good. So we can continue with one of the activities for today. And it's going to be this one right here. All right. Yeah, it says right here, we have a question for you, everybody. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Do you know the mission and the vision from your company? What is it? All right. So let's say this one. Do you guys know the mission and the vision for your company? Yes or no? No. <gasps> no. Oh, yes. God. All right. Where? Let's see. For example, William, where do you work? Sí que tengo un poquito de problema, teacher, con, con la lluvia. No, sure. no lo escucho mucho. Where do you work? The name of the company where you work. Uh, where... The police, teacher? No, no, I work with you. Work. Uh, This is a uh, Tepal. Tepal. Sí. All right. So what will be the name of the company? I mean, the, the, the mission or the vision. Do you know it? Sí. Pese que se me escapada, sinceramente. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So, veamos. ¿Quién se puede la mission o la vision de su company? A ver. Hi. All right. Go ahead. What is it? I think it's Spanish, ¿verdad? Digo yo, la podemos traducir. ¿O ya tiene traducida? No, en español. <laughs> All right. Bueno, yo trabajo en el Liceo Cristiano Reverendo Juan Bueno. Ah, ok. Y la visión es ser una institución educativa cristiana evangélica reconocida nacionalmente por su calidad humana y su alto rendimiento académico. Ok, veamos ahí. All right, so it says right here, ser una institución educativa cristiana, digo, right? Sí. Dejémoslo hasta ahí para cortarlo. All right, so, ser una institución educativa cristiana. Educativa cristiana. All right, let's translate it. How would you translate it? ¿Cómo podríamos poner ese ser? Um, ¿De acuerdo? Uh, acabamos de ver? To be. To be, to be. very good. To be. To be. Ah, all right. How do you say Christian in English? Christian. Right. Christian. ¿Cómo se dice una? Once. Esa es una vez. All right. And, and sería porque es and. In and. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien. All right. So a Christian. Institution. Mm -hmm. So, ¿qué más sería ahí, people? Mm -hmm. To be, ¿qué? To be a Christian. Mm -hmm. Institución. Institu 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 Mm -hmm. To be a Christian educational institution. No hace falta esa palabra. Educational institution. 
Ahí estamos. Like this one. Aquí tenemos parte de la mission, right? To be a Christian educational institution. Veamos, Ana, ahora do it again, but in English. Uh, to be a Christian educational institution. Yeah, very Shen, good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you. You see, it's easy, right? Okay. Anybody else? Alguien más que se acuerde de su uh, de la misión o visión de su company? Uh -huh. Oh my God, people. Mañana la van a buscar la misión de la company. All right, so when you go to the company, all right, so what is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. A ver, Raúl, tell me. Sorry, no los había visto, chicos. Raúl y... Um, okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, the, the, the mission of uh, the company uh, Bimbo de Salvador. Okay. Alimento, pero en español... <laughs> Alimentos deliciosos y nutritivos en las manos de todos. Ok, ¿cuál era el primer verbo ahí? La primera palabra. Alimentos deliciosos y nutritivos en las manos de todos. Esa es la misión. Es la misión. La visión. Misión. Y... Pero hace falta un verbo ahí. Uh -huh. Sería poner, es... dar, conocer, ser... Esa es la que tenemos. Really? Alimentos? Like that? Yeah. yeah. All right. Y si le haríamos un verbo, ¿qué sería? Dar, crear, ser. Crear, crear alimentos sería. Va, crear alimentos, ¿qué dijimos? Deliciosos y nutritivos en las manos de todos. Va, quedémonos en crear alimentos deliciosos. All right. How do you say crear alimentos deliciosos? Ajá. Uh -huh. Create. Okay. To create. To create. Delicioso. Delicious. No. Delicious. That's fast. Let's. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Delicious. Delicious. Food, right? Delicious. 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 Very good, excellent. So, a ver, uno más, una más, una misión más. Vamos a ver. Ok, Afner, go ahead. Desarrollar productos financieros honestos. Desarrollar productos financieros honestos. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. So, how do you say desarrollar? Vimos al principio de esta clase. Development, no. Este es desarrollo, pero por ahí viene. All right, so, develop. Develop or to develop? To develop. Uh -huh. What is it? Products. Products, pero ¿qué eran los productos qué? Eh, finance. Financieros. Financial products. Financial products. There we go. To develop financial products. Ok. Entonces ya ustedes pueden ver cómo van siendo capaces de crear una eh, misión y una visión. Entonces eso nos trae la, las activities for today. Vamos a hacer una de las actividades for today. Veamos aquí. All right. So, let's see this one right here. Vamos a ver cuál es la last activity for today. And it's this one. All right. Read the question with me. What could be a good mission and vision for these companies? Repeat it, everybody. I want to hear you. What could be a good mission and vision for these companies? Go ahead. What could be... What? Excellent. I like when everybody participates. I like it. All right. So, what is companies? What companies? Here you have them. Do you know those companies? Mm -hmm. Yes. There are three restaurants and they are very popular. Everybody knows them, ¿verdad? Entonces, in the last activity for today, we are going to go again in those breakup rooms y ustedes van a crear, aunque no sea real, of course, right? Una mission y una vision para estas compañías. Recuerden, no tiene que ser tan largo, right? So, so long. Algo así como las tres que acabamos de ver. Por ejemplo, eh, Ana nos ayudó con a, to be Christian educational institution. 
They also don't come to create delicious food, luego to develop financial products. Algo así, una mission y una vision. ¿Estamos? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ok. Questions, yes. questions. No questions. Ok, so nos vamos entonces para los breakup rooms. All right, so there you go. Y ahí vamos. Please join the breakup rooms right now. And let's work on that. Si necesitan ayuda, recuerden ahí ese botoncito de help o ayuda. Con mucho gusto los ayudo. Sonia, David, David, ahí puede participar, aunque sea escribiendo, no problem. Sandra Yamilet, Oscar Humberto. Kevin Eduardo. Hello, hello, guys. Ahí están ahí. All right, very good. No problem, Oscar. So let's wait for the rest of them to participate. Veamos que me quedo solo. Alexa, room number two. Ahí estamos. All right. All right. How are you doing, Albert and Sandra? Come on. Sure. Yeah, uh, to vision for your compare and pizza hut. Okay. In the chat, describe. To create the best pizza in Central America. Very good. All right. And the mission? What would be the vision? Perdón. The problem is that the vision is for the future, right? Ah, uh, solo he hecho, solo he hecho ahorita la visión, la. La misión. Perdón, la misión. All la right. misión de, de Pollo Campero y Pizza Hut. Sería okay. también la vision, ¿ok? Ajá, que la vision, okay. remember, es para el future. O sea, la yeah. tecnología okay. más grande, etcétera, etcétera, right? Pero okay. está okay. bastante okay. bien. Good job, good job. Okay. Teacher, y yes. a mí, alimentos deliciosos y nutritivos en las manos de todos. Esa era la misma del otro amigo, right? Bimbo. Ah, sí, bimbo. All right, excellent. <laughs> Yes, esa ahí nos quedamos como la... Like College. To... College. Excuse me? No, sorry, sorry, my son, yes. <laughs> oh, all right. There you go, exactly, all right. Entonces, remember, ahí estamos las missions. Cualquier duda, con mucho gusto regresa. Thanks. Ah, uh, 
Sí, sí. Días. Teacher, ¿verdad que siempre con las misiones y visiones siempre llevaría al inicio el tú, verdad? That is correct. ¿Verdad? Ok. Entonces sería, si nosotros teníamos que hacer, digamos, el de pollo campero, to after the best experience eat chicken in a restaurant. Ok, I like it. For example, very good. That is correct. Y la visión, digamos, to, se lo voy a poner para que me ayude con. Go ahead, mm -hmm. no problem. To generate foods that to generate healthy nutrition. Foods. Ok, very good. Vamos a hacer una correction ahí. La idea está muy bien, solo que vamos a cambiar los verbos. To prepare. En and health, 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 sin verdad. Healthy food. Uh -huh. Healthy food that contributes to nutrition. Good. Ah, mira, te voy a dar dos ideas. Aquí me dices cuál es la que tú eh, te prefieres más. To prepare healthy food that contributes to nutrition. Preparar comida saludable que, que contribuya a la nutrición. O preparar comida que contribuya a una nutrición saludable. Solo movemos el healthy. Ahí tú decides cuál es la idea que quieres dar para que te quede. Una de esas dos. Ah, ok. All right. Very okay. good. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Any other question? Con Alexa, no sé si tiene no. alguna. No, teacher, uh, solo, esta es la misión, ¿verdad? Mission and vision. La cosa es que la, la, la vision es para el future, right? Ajá, para el futuro. All right. Okay. Bueno, cualquier okay. cosa, me avisan. Okay, el restaurante del país. ¿Cómo va? Es, ajá. Eh, eh, ya estamos en la, en la visión, Tiche, del pollo campero. Excelente, excelente. A ver, ¿cómo van? ¿Quieres escuchar? Eh, vaya. ¿Se la digo en español o en inglés? A ver, ¿qué tenemos en inglés? Let's see what you have in English. Soy un poco para, para, para la pronunciación, pero... Por, Tranquilo, por no se preocupe, estoy aquí para ayudarle. Ok. Provide a family a most fair in that order. Constantly enjoy the best food with quality ingredients. Ingredients, all right. Muy bien. La idea está bien. Solo recuerde, José, que debe empezar con to provide, ver, que to, son los infinitivos. All right. Provide. Okay, okay. All right, okay, but good job, good job. Ahí vamos. Good job, good job. Yes, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, este... ¿Terminamos la, la visión? Ajá, ese que sería llegar a ser. Y de ofrecer un servicio cortés y servicial. Entonces, podríamos ponerle. Brindar un servicio de comida rápida. Uh -huh. Simple, algo simple, chicas. So simple. Y en español, ya. En, en español, teacher, o traducida. En inglés, va. Hagamos eso. Por ahí escuché que Irma estaba diciendo algo. ¿Cuál era Irma? Esa, esa, esa misión. Eh, brindar un servicio de comida rápida. Hasta va, ahí me quedo. Hasta ahí quedémonos. Brindar. ¿Cuál era brindar? Ya me acuerdo. Uh, uh, bring, no, bring to provide. To provide. To provide. Ah, Entonces sería to provide uh, un servicio de comida rápida, dijo, ¿verdad? A quality sí. service. A uh, fast food service. Right. Mm -hmm. Ese sería como a top fast food service, como el mejor. Así, miren. To provide a top fast food service. Ese top sería como mm -hmm. like the best. All right. Ah. Uh -huh. 
que nosotros estamos haciendo en español es porque lo traducimos. Ahí tenemos Ah, all right. No problem. Vamos que a regresar el teacher dice. a la clase para poder escuchar algunas ideas, all right? Antes de que Ok, tengamos clase por hoy. gracias. Gracias, teacher. All right. Bueno, vámonos para la sala. Hagamos la, mis la visión de la pista. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Very good. All right. So before we leave, antes de que nos vayamos por hoy, so we are going to have, um, um, to, to listen, sorry, to some of the ideas that you guys created during uh, the practice, right? Who wants to be the volunteer for number one here? Volunteer, for cualquiera de las tres companies. Volunteer, volunteer? Uh -huh. Any volunteer? Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Okay, please, Abner, go ahead. Okay, mission, the puede compare to after the best chicken in the in El Salvador. To offer the best in El Salvador. <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. So, uh, very good. Uh, anybody else on a mission? Cualquiera de los tres? Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Solo uno, please. <laughs> Yes. In Spanish, No, no, it's conquistar not. día a día, for example, compare, conquistar cada día, día a día, la satisfacción de los clientes con los Okay, servicios. okay, okay. Let's do something, Maria. How do you say conquistar? Hey, baby, right? So it's conquer. Conquer, conquer. Entonces, ¿cómo sería conquistar a los clientes? Eso, así dijo, right? Customer, customer. Remember, remember, remember. ¿Cómo empiezan las... Eh, to, to conquer customer. To conquer customer. All right, y ahí seguimos con lo demás. All right, super important para poder identificar eso. Sí. All right, very good. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguien más? Ah, Nancy está durmiendo. Ahorita se quita el sueño. All right, so, a ver. Ajá. Nancy. Ya le damos. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am mute. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the campero chicken is to to pro, provide Uh -huh. the best chicken fry. Fried chicken. 